This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, the capacity measurement option is usually only available in more expensive multimeters, so it is desirable to make such an instrument ourselves, especially if it is very simple to make and inexpensive. Exactly these conditions are fulfilled in the instrument described below. The measured value the measured value is displayed on a large readable display and its measuring range is from 1 picofarad to 99 microfarads without a range option, which are actually the most frequently used values. The fact that only two components are needed to make this capacitance matter is almost unbelievable, namely an, a microcontroller board and an LCD display. I specifically in this case use an Arduino Nano microcontroller and LCD display 128 on 64 dots with ST7565 driver chip. The measurement is performed in such way that the measured capacitor is charged with current from the pull-up resistor from the microprocessor input and the required charging time is measured. The capacitor whose value we need to measure is connected to one analog and one digital uh, pin of the microcontroller and if it is a polarized capacitor, the positive pole is connected to the first defined pin in the code. The simplicity of this device is due to the excellent capacitor Arduino li library that is made specifically for this purpose and you can download it directly from the given author's GitHub page. Now let's see how this useful instrument works in real conditions. For this purpose I'll be use, I will use capacitors of these different types and different values. At first the display shows a capacitance of about 1 picofarad which is actually the capacitance between the wires and connectors which is minimal and does not affect measurements. and the electrolytic capacitors.
As you can see from the presentation, the accuracy and speed of measurements are satisfactory. And finally, a short conclusion. This is the simplest possible auto range standalone capacitance meter that you can make using only two electronic components. Even simpler, if you use the device on your desktop, you only need the microcontroller and you can read the results on the serial monitor from the Arduino ID application on the PC. Of course, it is advisable to embed the device in a suitable box with plugins so that you can make measurements more easily.